What's going on YouTube? Oh man, I hate when I do a video and it goes over 11 minutes. I had a great video, went over 11 minutes. I don't like posting in two parts. Gen X still ain't responding to me, so I can't post on there. So I'm stuck being here on YouTube with, a only, with only an 11 minute time period to say what I have to say. Um, all right, the definition that I gave about being on point is not easy to satisfy. It's as simple as that. There's a lot of people based off of my definition, men and women, that aren't on point. Is it a knock on you? No. No, if you are trying to get there. Yes, it's a knock if you're content and you feel like you don't need some of the things that I've said. It's a knock on you because my definition is pretty simple. It has nothing to do about balling and living out of your means and living this materialistic life. No. It's, the definition is is based off of somebody living a normal average life where they're taking care of their now and they're taking care of their future and their families if they choose to have one that's what my definition is centered around it has nothing to do with you know you living in a mansion and driving a ferrari i can care less about that this is about people living a normal average he healthy happy productive life right and with that said it's still not easy to satisfy um, now for most people to be honest with you we can get the whole covering the monthly bills. We can even get with the whole, you know, providing food and shelter. We can get all that. But where it gets hard is when we talk about saving money, okay, for a rainy day. Um, so if things go bad, uh, you know, if you lose your job or your job renegotiates how much you make or, you know, they change the terms of your employment, even if you own your own business, if business isn't doing too well, you have money saved up so that life continues. Okay, people shouldn't be living month to month. I don't care your lifestyle. There's a lot of people living nice lifestyles, but they're still living month to month. You know, for me, I'm not going to be content until I know that I can be out of work for two years, but my lifestyle uh, 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 won't change for that two year window. That's single or with kids. Because sometimes people have to make significant changes. There's people who got fired, they didn't have careers, had great paying jobs, but guess what? They can't find another good paying job, so they have to change up, actually get a career, or some people unfortunately have to change careers, but that takes time, right? So you have to have that buffer zone because you never know how long you're going to go till you get decent employment or you can get to a point where you're making just as much as you were making before, right? Um, but it kind of sucks if you're living a lifestyle, right? You lose your job or something happens with your money and the next month, you know, you're, you're out broke on the street or you have to cut back significantly. It shouldn't be that way, okay? That's with or without kids. You should have stuff saved up because things will happen. You know, we pray that we don't, but smart people plan for the unexpected. And there will always be some issue with money, okay? It happens all the time, okay? Nothing's ever guaranteed. The beauty about our recession is that it reminded people who thought that they were invincible that they can't be touched. Okay, I've seen people living great lifestyles, lost their job, mind you, these are educated professionals. Uh, but because uh, uh, of just the market, they couldn't find another similar job, so they were out of work for a year or two. And they burned through all their money, all their savings. So just imagine how many people really only had enough saved up for a couple of months. But it took them a year to two years to find another job just because they had to wait for things to turn around or they may have to even go back to school and get a new career, right? It takes time, right? So if you're smart, you'll account for that. Pray that it doesn't happen, but account for it. But I know that everybody doesn't have a lot saved up, but it's something that you should be trying to work towards. I'm not at that point. So based off of my own definition, <clears throat> I can't really say I'm on point because I'm not at that level. Something happens to me and I have to, you know, go back to the drawing board. I don't have that buffer zone, okay? Um, I doubt I'll make it through the year just because you burn through so much. Just try, And that's even after you cut back. But bills is bills, right? Certain things you got to have. Uh, <clears throat> in the second area where I, where I know that it's tough for people to reach that point of on pointness is when it comes to health care. It's not easy. Okay, you know, pray that your employer offers you some sort of health care package. That's why I tell people, don't just be concerned with how much you're making. Also look at what, they, what are they offering in terms of health care. Is it comprehensive? Are they covering, covering vision, 
dental? Are your children covered? Like those are the things that people have to look at because healthcare is extremely expensive. Okay, that's why it's always a hot button issue. If you go to the doctor and you get an x-ray, the x-ray costs money. The issue is <clears throat> who's gonna pay for it? The state, the insurance company, or you? It's expensive. Okay? Um, and a lot of employers, you know, are hesitant to give people, you know, health care or they're very, you know, limited in what they offer you. <clears throat> so either you have to come up with the difference or uh, pay for it on your own, which is definitely expensive. That's why it was important for people to be paying attention to the health care debate because um, it's hard to be paying for uh, insurance, health insurance out the pocket. Okay, especially when you're talking about the level of the coverage that you want, who you're trying to cover. So you could be making great money, but if you're paying for health care out of the pocket, well, guess what? You're not doing as well as you thought you were doing. Um, also, in regards to uh, uh, health care, we as black people... We're predispositioned to certain diseases and illnesses. A lot of it is genetic. Okay, you know, you talk about the Middle Passage and those who made it to uh, America as slaves, and the slaves went on to, you know, uh, uh, produce, you know, modern day African Americans. But genetically, how did those black people uh, uh, withstand the Middle Passage? Um, it, it gets scientific in terms of our genetic. Pool, okay, in terms of why we're predispositioned to certain illnesses and diseases, especially when you factor in what we eat. Soul food is, yeah, it's great to eat, tastes good, but it's slowly going to kill you if that's what you eat 24 7. So it's important to have health care. You know how many people go into heavy debt because of health care? It's no joke. People who are doing great, oh yeah, doing great, got a great job, I got money saved up, but they weren't paying attention to health care, got sick, and once you get sick or they look at your medical records, <laughs> it's hard to get coverage. So you can even uh, want to get coverage, but sometimes they may not even cover you. So there's a lot of people who got caught up with expensive medical bills and lost money. I don't know how many families, professional, moms are professional, dads are professional, somebody got cancer, somebody got sick, and they had to see the doctor every month or every week, and they were just burning through money to the point where they're ready to sell the house uh, because health care uh, wasn't there, whether it was by choice or they just couldn't secure it. Because sometimes you could want it, but you can't find anybody that's going to give you what you want at an affordable rate, right? So it's no joke, but you need that to be a complete person, especially when you talk about children. What happens if your kids get sick and they have some sort of, you know, illness? Are you going to play Russian roulette and hope that they get better? What happens if they need, you know, uh, teeth, uh, dental work? What happens if they need glasses to see well so they can get good grades and live a happy life? What are you going to say? You know, you don't need them, son, right? Or try to come out of pocket, which may be kind of pricey. Right? Every time you see a doctor, I don't care what type of doctor, it costs money, somebody has to pay for it. Um, so you got to secure yourself on that front. Because um, even if you don't have kids, it's still hard to secure your own health. And if you're not healthy, what happens? You can't work. If you get sick and you can't get better, you can't work, stuff starts happening, uh-oh, you lose your job, uh-oh, the money that you had saved up starts to go away. So all of a sudden, your shelter is in question, right? You know, food is in question, paying bills is in question, right? So it's not easy to get, don't get me wrong, like I said, but you need it to be that complete person, to have that normal, happy, average life. In my opinion, it's something that you need. And once again, I don't knock any man or woman who's not at that point. Just be working towards it. And if you're a woman, don't sit back and act like this doesn't apply to you either. Okay, if you don't have gainful employment, um, you don't have health care, you need to be working towards it. Don't sit back and say that's a man thing. No, it's 2010. I already told you guys. I don't do that whole uh, dating down. Nah, women can work, so women should be out there looking for gainful employment. Right? Women get sick, so women should be looking to make sure that they have health care as well. Um, and that's just how it is. But no one should be knocked if they're trying. Okay? No one should be knocked if they're putting that effort and it's just not working out because it's very difficult. Right? That's why it's important for us to network and talk to each other and figure out how we should get there. 
You should be working towards it. People shouldn't be content just because they're paying for their bills, making great money. If you don't have shit saved up in the bank, don't be content. If you don't have health care, don't be content and work towards it. This is regardless if you want to have a family or not. If you just want to be single for the rest of your life, that's fine by me. But single people get sick as well. Single people lose their jobs. Single people have issues that happen. Right? And if you want to be happy, healthy, and productive, you have to reach my definition of what it means to be on point. Okay? It's not about living large. It's not about balling out of control. That, that's not the spirit behind my definition. Like I said, I can care less in terms of who thinks who's more on point than somebody else. I'm just concerned with, yo, are you on point? Are you trying to get there? Right? Um, so that's my vid. Hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from. Take it easy.